Yeah, hi, this is Doc Mountain and I welcome you to my channel. In our video today, we're going to look at the periodic table. We're going to look at the components of the periodic table and then we will sufficiently look at the where the elements are arranged on the periodic table. So now the question is, what's the periodic table? Well, a periodic table is actually the table of chemical elements which are arranged to illustrate the patterns of recurring chemical and physical properties. So if that's a mouthful, can I go by the second definition? And so the periodic table is the arrangement of the elements in order of increasing proton number, but also according to their trends in chemical properties. That one, the second one sounds to be very much easy. So you can go by the second one. Now, what are the uses of a periodic table? So now, a periodic table is simply a tool that we use for classifying elements. Now, what I mean by saying classifying elements, we are able to actually group them. To classify means to group or to categorize. Okay, so now, how are, they, how, how are the elements categorized? Or grouped, they are grouped according to their reactivity and according to the proton numbers that they have. Okay, so now what are the components of a periodic table? So, a periodic table is actually made up of groups and it's also made up of periods. Okay, so now what are groups? Groups are simply vertical columns. So now you'll get to look at these. These are vertical columns which contain up to seven elements. So now these columns, each one of them embrace seven elements. Now groups normally denote the number of valence electrons of an element. Now these valence electrons are actually contained in the outer shells. Now, valence electrons is actually the number of electrons that an atom loses or gains to acquire stability. Now, we'll dig deeper into all these technologies that I'm making mention of as we progress through this topic. Okay, so now groups are numbered from one to eight. So there are eight groups on the periodic table. So now I'll, I'll show you the diagram at the end of this, uh, this lesson. So now from left to right, so the first on the left hand side is actually the first group, the second, and then we have the third, the fourth, the fifth, up to the eighth, the eight groups. So now group one, group two, and group three are to Group eight elements are called main group elements. The elements between group two and group group three are called transition metals, while hydrogen does not belong to a specific group. Now let's look at periods. Now periods are horizontal rows. Now these rows actually denote the number of shells that each 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 atom has. Okay, of an element. So now hydrogen and helium both have one electron shell. Hence, they're found in the same period. That is period one. While lithium and neon both have two electron shells. Hence, they are found in period two. So all you all know what I'm saying is periods actually denote the number of shells. Then groups actually denote the number of uh, valence electrons that will be found in the outer shells. Those are the, the most outer shells, those that are on the outside, okay? So now let's take a look at this. So now, uh, here is actually a diagram, a table actually show, showing the groups as well as the number of valence electrons. So for those which are, for those in group one, like this one here, group one. So group one elements normally have uh, 
one one valence electron and then those that are in group two they have two valence electrons group three they have three valence electrons and group four have four valence electrons just like that we go up to seven and then those that are in the eighth group you find that helium has two valence electrons and then those other element, elements have eight valence electrons which is why they are stable let's move on to the period so now let's take a look at the periods okay, so now these are the periods so now <clears throat> When you check out this one, we have the first period. So now the first period has elements which have one, one shell, okay? Then the second period has elements with two shells, you know what I'm saying? Then the third has elements with uh, three. Just like that, we move on up to the seven so there are seven periods in the periodic table okay now those elements that are shaded blue are called transition metals now these that are shaded green are the ones that we call the main group elements so now let me show you this you may be you, you may not be able to conceive that which i'm talking about if let's say we have this atom and then the amide of it, there is actually this nucleus, okay? And then we have this one here. So let me show you. So what, I, what, what we have is actually two shells. So this one here is a shell. That one there as well is a shell. So we have two shells. Now, arising from what we have learned so far, the question now is if those are, the, there are two shells on this atom or in this atom, to which period does this one belong? So definitely it will actually fall under period two because uh, period two has elements with uh, atoms which have uh, two shells, okay? So now if we say uh, this same, this same atom has, let's say here, and you get to say that is an electron, and that one is also a valence electron. The question is, to which group will this element belong? So it will be in period two, and then it will also belong to group two. Because the group number denotes the number of valence electrons only or in the outer shell. So that's how these things border. I hope you've liked the video. And uh, if you have liked it, I urge you to go ahead and uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel so that anytime I happen to post a video, I happen to be elected. Thank you so much and stay blessed.